week 11 finally gone 3D. It was not as easy as I thought it would be. If you're on the wrong, it's not an easy task to put all the panels in place and the bulkheads, but definitely if you can get someone else to help you. But it was, it was quite fun, so let's have a look. Another week still working on the mast. sand all the wood that's actually going to be exposed after a simple um, and I'm going to do it before I go 3D because otherwise it's going to be awkward positions just trying to sand all these pieces here. Tried sanding it without de-waxing. Brilliant. 10 seconds. Can't wait to get this off of here so I don't have to go around the tables every time I want to go on that side of the workshop or that. I'll be going around the goat island skip instead. <laughs> or over it, I don't know yet. I bet you guys know what's coming next. I'm gonna put a copper wire through both panels and that will give me enough play in the panels so they're not like that when you attach the stem. So I'm going to do a dry run with some play here. I could use an extra couple of hands, not so easy. That doesn't help, I have to chamfer these. I think that might have been a bit too much. <laughs> oh well, nothing I can do now. Put a screw in there. That wire is going to go to the other side. And then I'll try to put the shine locks close to the to bulkhead one. And I have definitely got too much of them shine locks. Bulkhead one is being a pain in the ass.
been messing around with this for four hours non-stop now and, and all I've done is get it all tied by wires and only a few screws on the on bulkhead three and that's it there's nothing else um, I will have a bite to eat now and maybe maybe I come back a bit later but I'm knackered I was trying to just pull with wire and or rope but uh, I'm gonna have to clamp it all in all quite happy no major screw ups that I can see so far Bulkheads go right where they were supposed to, no major gaps. I said no major screw ups, but I think there's one. I cut way too much there on those shine logs. Uh, well, I'm gonna have to add some wood there and epoxy once I put the stem. the truth guys first time how about that <laughs> first time I checked this that must mean the boat is pretty straight at the moment midpoint on the bulkheads bulkheads also seem parallel to each other so I think that's pretty much it six seven hours for this dry run at least I know the boat is straight there's no twist to it I still haven't measured the diagonal from here to there but we can do that now four seven six point five Seven six point two, ah, three millimeters difference. I can live with that. Uh, remember that perfect timber, six meter long boards with no knots, really fine grain, blah blah blah. Well, I found one, and it had to be even worse than the knot. Look, no, you're not there. Get a point, I can see light through it. And that's my luck. <laughs> but I'm gonna have to scrape all of that and try to fill it with um, epoxy microfibers and whatnot. I don't know. See, uh, some extra work because I need more. I'm gonna tape one end and I'm gonna fill it with liquid epoxy from this side and let it soak as much epoxy as it can in 20 minutes. Then I'll open it, let it drain and put thickened epoxy there after. 
Hopefully that will work. As you could see, I did not place the panels in the order as per the plans. Um, I just couldn't, uh, to be honest. I tried and tried and uh, it felt logic at the time to put bulkhead 3 first uh, and then bulkhead 2 because 1 was even harder. If I squeezed to put uh, bulkhead 1 first, bulkhead 2 would be even harder to place. So I opted to go 3, 2, transom, 4, 1 and last stand. So I know most will say that's not the right way, but to be honest guys, that was the right way for me. Uh, that, that was the only way I could do it on my own. Um, and in the end, the result is good and the boat is straight, there's no twist. And if you can do it that way, take you longer or not, doesn't matter. It's your way, just do it as long as you do it properly. And finally, this week I worked 16 hours, that's two days to you know, finish the mast, the panels, um, all the sanding, and then go 3D and line the boat. Personally, this week I don't have time for anything else, so don't, don't miss next week's video where I'm going to be gluing this, and that's going to be another adventure. So, see you next week, guys.